Hey guys, it's Chatter again, and today uh, I have to finish this tutorial really quick, but there's a lot to teach, so you're just gonna have to follow along as best as you can, because I gotta get this done as quick as I possibly can, because if it's more than 15 minutes, then I might not be able to upload it. So anyway, um, first you're gonna go there, I'll, I'll have a link to this, um, but you're gonna go to this link that I'm mm, that I'm gonna give you. Uh, login. Oops. Okay. Now ignore this. Ignore what I'm doing right now. But you're gonna go to the link below this video and if you go to the link you will get this page and you're gonna click have a download link and then you're gonna click what's next to that. And it's gonna download and you're gonna put this uh, in your Grand Theft Auto San Andreas directory. These two files go where your Grand Theft Auto is and just in case you're dumb I'm gonna show it to you. So see I have the those files in here where my Grand Theft Auto is. So anyway once you have that done you are going to go into Pano, and first thing you're going to need is a forward to check gate. The next thing you're going to need is a timer for check gate, and you're going to want these objects. Now, you can change the positions of the objects, and you use the uh, map editor to do that. I, don't know, I will show you how to do that in a minute. But you're going to use, I'm going to put these objects in the description too, so you know what I did. These are gates at Area 51, or rather doors. And in case I didn't tell you, um, we're creating uh, do automatic doors. So anyway, this creates the objects for the right door and the left door. Also, you need the variables for both of those. Okay, next we're going to destroy every object there is on the game mode exit and trust me this will make a difference sometimes not all the times but sometimes so anyway then we just go to our check gate and we look and it says new gate uh, my gate status okay so variable and then we have a loop through all the players and if the player is connected it's gonna continue the code and if it's not it's not gonna continue now if the player is in range of the point um, here is your range. This is 10, but I'm going to put it at 7.5. And that didn't work. What did I do? Uh, um, 7.5. What the? What the heck is going on? Why can't I? This is weird. Oh, um, 7.5. There we go. Um, and then you're going to have these coordinates. I will also put the coordinates um, or this code in the description, just this line. And then you're going to have if my gate status equals, equals 1, then you're going to have move object. And I will also have these coordinates in the description. Else, and then these ones I will also have in the description. So, um, I don't know. I might just put this whole, this in the description depending on, you know. So, anyway, that is that. You're going to compile that. And the reason I'm not really explaining this very well is because i got to get this done really quick so I can explain the more important part. So, basically, study this and the rest of it you know how to do. Create object, just creates an object, you got your model ID, X, Y, Z, X rotation, Y rotation, and Z rotation. So you know how to do that. 
so just study this code and um, I will have it in the description again so you know also for the timer you probably want it to be about 500 milliseconds that's what I have it on and you gotta have it repeating so you know once you have all this set up you're uh, ready to go to the next part which is customize it so I will see you there okay guys so I just opened up the editor and I press start now these will not be here this and this will not be here unless you put them there which I'm gonna show you how to do now we gotta wait for this so I'll come back once it's done okay now you will see this now the basic controls are hold the left or right button to do this and then this is the middle scrolling thing okay and then you hold the right button and use WASD whoa, to move around like this S W D A D A okay and then you know so what I did was I pressed add well you press add and then here you go to search and I typed it in blast door and then you got blast door right and blast door left I added them so to do that you just click it and press add go back in here click it add now I already have them here so I'm not gonna add them again now how do I get out of this I do that now to add the door you're gonna click insert oh my god what? Okay, oh. gonna go there. Alright, now use, this is just left click, and this is holding the middle button, and, you know, so you kind of use those to position it. So, uh, let's see. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Now I'll click this and click here and click insert and go here again and click that. And you do escape to get rid of an object and click it to select it. Whoops. Alright, now you're gonna roughly position this. And then you're gonna do the. F oh, shite. Ah, uh, control Z easily doesn't work. Which kind of is dumb. Let me, um. Okay. Now, why can I not select it? <sighs> it's things like this that stress me out when I'm making a tutorial. Crappy programming. Okay. Um. I can select that one. Oh, I hate things like this. There we go. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have that right there. And we're gonna copy this. So we're gonna copy this and this. So the last two coordinates we're gonna copy. And then we're gonna paste into here. Oh, shite, I did. Copy. Alright. Control V. There we go. So now we have our two doors installed. And they are positioned badly on the whatever axis that happens to be. This one is, anyway. So I'll select it. Oh, there. Okay. So uh, that looks pretty good to me. Um, although, yeah, I think that's pretty much how I want it. So once you have it how you want it, uh, and you can put these anywhere, you can search for different objects, 
uh, this is just an example and you're gonna do show code okay why do I have three objects uh, you should not have three objects but if you do then you're kinda in bad luck um, but anyway you do show, show code oh my gosh there should only be two objects so you do show code and you copy the two objects and there's a lot of objects for me I have no clue why but anyway here give me a minute guys okay I figured it out now I've got my two objects and I'm gonna copy and X that out and that is where you insert this okay so uh, yeah um, I'm gonna have again for like the third time or something I'm gonna have this in here and uh, I'm also gonna have this in here so you know how to do that so anyway that's pretty much it uh, I can't believe I did it this quick it took me like 20 minutes in the last tutorial anyway thanks for watching and I'm sorry that I didn't really explain this very well I just had to get it done as fast as possible so I can actually upload it and um, yeah so anyway thank you for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial